where we celebrate the change of the axis of the sun. And that he moves towards the earth of cats. Tropic of Cancer is the one which represents the motherhood. The motherhood of the earth. This Tropic of Cancer has passed through quite a big area of land while the Tropic of Capricorn has not. And the area through which it has passed, it has created different beautiful manifestation of the motherhood qualities on this earth. We celebrate this change because the sun has now moved into the new dimension so that all over the world there will be the warmth of the sun. Warmth of the sun represents the warmth of God's love. This is the reason why we celebrate this festival by giving you some sort of a sweet made out of sesame seeds. Sesame seeds are given because they are also sheet giving. And now as we are coming from the cold, we come to the hot season in a way, hotter season. So to prepare you with that warmth of the sun, these special things are made out of the seed of sesame to represent the oncoming warmth and the warm of the sun. Though in India the heat is too much, still people are waiting for this time to come in and they celebrate it with such a warm heart. At this time it is said that we give you this sesame seed and the sugar to eat but now you must speak in a sweet manner. Gor gor bola means you must speak in a sweet manner. Speaking in the sweet manner is very important. Some people think it is smart to speak in a rude manner or is very intelligent to be sharp on people. But no one likes this kind of a personality. You may be intelligent, you may be very sharp and smart. Maybe on a television people may like to see you, but not as companions, as friends. To speak in a very sweet manner is a sign 
of good breeding, good culture and fear of God. Those who fear God will never speak rudely to another person because in another person also the same spirit is shining. And why should we be sharp or angry with another person who is created by God Almighty as we are created? So this loving, beautiful relationship that we have with each other after Sahaja Yoga especially, let us express in talking to each other sweetly. There are so many ways by which we could be sweet. There are little, little things if you do. You can create a lot of sweetness, but you need not a sharp tongue, but a sharp memory. I try these things many a times. Once uh, one of the Sajogi, who was a very good Sajogi and an active Sajogi, was going in the car with me and his knife was stolen by the driver or somebody and got very angry, the driver. I said, forget it, you see, he's a poor man, so he has taken it away, it doesn't matter, just forget it. Uh, he says, no, it was because it's a present to me from somebody who was in Switzerland and it's a Swiss knife which I was keeping with me, so I feel sorry that I've lost it. When I went to Switzerland, I bought that kind of same knife for him. When I came and I gave him, he didn't have words to say anything. He said, Mother, how did you remember? After such a long time, how did you manage to get this knife? I said, I have a very good memory. That's the trouble with this. <laughs> the memory is so good that sometimes I just don't know. Uh, I may embarrass some people with my memory. It is that good. I don't forget anything whatsoever. I, of course, forget all the bad things because no use remembering bad things. No use thinking of that. Because of forgiveness, you can always forget the bad things. And if you remember the good things, your joy becomes multiplied. If you try to remember something bad, then your jaw goes down. Every time you see a person, try to remember what good that person has done to you, what good that person has. If you have memory for good things, you will have a very nice time. Now, today is the day when you are all leaving India. Some of you will be leaving day after tomorrow. Whatever it is, I have to tell you one thing that Whatever was possible has been done here for you people to give you joy and happiness. Now, when you are going back, try to remember all that was said to you, all that was nice, how people praised you, how they loved you, how they were kind to you, how you met some nice people, what nice experiences you had. But don't brood over things which are worthless. It's all right, somebody must have said something harsh to you or you might have said something harsh to someone, just forget it. Try to understand that you are spoiling your chances of enjoying life. Nobody is hurt by that. So try to be extremely uh, happy that you have met so many people, that you have had weddings, that you have seen so many weddings, we have had a nice time and every bit of it was full of joyous vibrations. Of course, today some of you would be a little unhappy. I can understand that because your spouses are leaving, somebody's husbands are going away or somebody's wives are going away, so I can see some of them are looking rather miserable about it. <laughs> But that's a good thing because it is out of love and out of uh, attraction for each other, for 
uh, enjoying the company of each other, suggestive of something very good to me. But still I would say that after all, you are going to meet each other and remember all the good things that you have said to each other, you have enjoyed with each other and try to keep happy. Because these days will pass very fast. In Sahaja Yoga you just forget time, everything, the time passes so fast and all these things will pass over and you will be again united with your uh, husbands or wives, whatever may be the case. So there is nothing to feel very sad about all these things and to keep smiling and laughing. So when they are departing also, they should not feel, see your last face full of tears, but, <laughs> but remember the face of assurance and courage that the hope is there, we are going to meet very soon and there is nothing to feel very sad about. Today is a day to make joy and to enjoy everything and to feel the blessings of God all around us. The sun has come uh, back in His own glory and we have to wish Him all success in the coming year because in this part of Maharashtra, as you know, there has been no rain, there has been problems with them and we have to wish Him success so that He can bring forth the rain and all that is needed out of this solar energy that we have in this country. And you have to be beaming like the sun when you go back to your countries, that your countries are not so hot as ours are, neither you have that much of warmth there and you can find that why people are so warm and so much loving because we have the sun with us. Now you carry the sun with you and you give them love and affection and warmth and let them feel that the sun has been brought from India by you. Whenever I have travelled anywhere in any country, the sun used to be there very bright. So they said that there is a saying that when the Indians travel, they carry the sun with them. Of course, you can't carry the sun in your pockets, but we must be carrying it in our hearts, the sun. That must be the reason. That's why the sun was shining so well and everybody came out with their good dresses and everything was well enjoying. So this is what it is that you have to carry the sun with you, speaking sweetly today and forever to each other, to be friendly, to be helpful, to be kind, because you are yogis, you are not ordinary people. You are yogis, you represent that category of people who are known for their righteousness, for their goodness and for their compassion and love. So I wish you all best of luck, enjoy your journeys, enjoy everything and pass this joy that you have achieved here to other people, to other Sahaja Yogis and to other people who are not even Sahaja Yogis. May God bless you with that. <coughs>